So some of you guys might have been wondering why Best Fight Scene's Donnie Yen is shown as being deleted, and that's because it was taken down for copyright. This happened around February, and I received a copyright strike as you can see on the screen, which is obviously not good news. But very recently, the Max Zhang video was also taken down, giving me yet another strike. One more and my channel is gone forever. Now, each copyright strike does expire after about 3 months, and you can see on screen on what exact date they expire. But the problem is that I have no way of knowing which clips, whether one or more, provoked the copyright claimant into issuing a DMCA takedown notice. The only info given is when the strike was received, when it expires, and the name of the claimant. If any of you are aware of how copyright works on YouTube, sometimes copyright material is either blocked in several countries or worldwide. You can also see what exact segment of the video is copyrighted. When the video isn't blocked, the copyright claimant might simply monetize the video so that any ad revenue goes straight to them. At least, that's what happens most of the time. But there are very rare instances in which even if you don't try to monetize the video yourself, a copyright claimant will take down your video just for having uploaded a scene from a movie. No matter how short the clip is, whether a few minutes or even a few seconds, they can and will take down your video. And they do not give you information on which part of the video had caused the takedown. Clearly, this is more likely to happen if you upload unedited scenes or fight scene compilations like I have, without commentary or anything transformative. Though usually fight scenes are fairly safe from takedowns, especially considering how some of my videos have tens of millions of views and have been up for a couple years now. The Donnie Yen and Max Zhang videos are a great example since each racked up about 4 million views after around 2 years before being taken down. That means any single one of my videos could be next. These copyright strikes are completely unpredictable and could pop up at any time. Even if my current two strikes expire, another year might pass where the same thing could happen all over again, placing my channel at risk yet again. So instead of waiting around for what may very well be inevitable, I've decided to delete all of my fight scene compilations. And I mean all of them. With the exception of the indie film and stick figure fight scene compilations. I doubt they're copyright heavy. If they give me a strike too, then I'll probably laugh myself to death. I've already lost my previous channel to strikes and I just do not want to start a whole new channel and have to make a new Gmail account just to regain access to YouTube. So thank you to everyone who subscribed to this channel. I had an awesome time putting together the best fight scene series, but it seems it was never meant to be. You will have about one week from now until I delete these videos however, so you can binge or re-watch as many of them as you want or check out some you might not have seen before. You can even download them onto your devices if you have the software for it. Hopefully I don't get a third strike in that time. If I do, I will be quite depressed. But on Saturday of next week, the entire Best Fight Scene series will be purged from my channel. The only trace of these videos left on YouTube will be various channels that have re-uploaded my videos with the exact same title, thumbnail pic, and even description. I can't believe people actually do that. Sadly, I don't own the copyright to these movies, so it's not like I can do anything about it. One channel even re-uploaded a Michael Jai White compilation that for a time had even more views than mine. Isn't that just hilarious? But once again, huge thanks to my subscribers. I couldn't have made it this far without your support. I never dreamed this channel would be this successful. I still have absolutely no clue how that Louis Fon video ended up with 57 million views. I am just in absolute disbelief. This doesn't mean I'm quitting YouTube though. If any of you have watched my Ipmon vs Yuri Boyka video, link is in the description, you're well aware that I had plans to possibly continue the series with more hypothetical fight analyses featuring other martial arts movie characters. I might even try out top 10 videos, for example, top 10 Jackie Chan fight scenes or what have you. I've seen some pretty intriguing top 10s on the subject of fight scenes. Personal favorite being Cinefix's top 10 movie fight scenes, link is in the description. Commentaries are much less susceptible to copyright troubles and that will most likely be the future of this channel. On a more pessimistic note, with Article 13 possibly spreading from the UK and the recent PewDiePie controversy with a subsequent adpocalypse, eventually no YouTube video might be safe from copyright issues. But who knows for sure? Knock on wood. Otherwise, if fight scene compilations are all you came to this channel for, then you are certainly free to unsubscribe. I will totally understand and I deeply appreciate all the time you spent watching my videos. For those of you who plan to stay, thank you for your patience and continued support. I honestly don't know when I will upload another video. I'm still in the process of getting a degree, finding a job that will let me eat, sleep, and stay alive. So until these priorities are taken care of, YouTube will have to wait. Until then, this channel will remain dormant and I will see you when I get my life together. 
If you're planning to leave, huge apologies for having inconvenienced you by deleting these videos. Unfortunately, sometimes shit happens and you gotta compromise. With that said, I hope you had one hell of a time with the best fight scene series, and I wish you the best. In the meantime, life moves on. Peace.